in this video uh, we are going to learn a topic lubricants what is the learning outcome for today's session at the end of this session students will be able to write the definition functions and properties of lubricant before starting with the actual content of the topic i would like to brief you about a material lubricant and its importance so today whatever we are observing the growth and development in mechanical engineering it is only because of a simple material called as lubricant because in every machine there are surfaces which are very close to each other they used to slide over each other or used to rotate around each other and therefore because of friction there is a wear and tear of the surfaces of the machine parts therefore the main objective of lubricant is to avoid dimensional changes of surfaces which are very close to each other thus lubricant helps to protect surfaces from dimensional loss frictional heat and also it maintain efficiency of the machine what actually content we are going to cover in this particular session we'll start with definition then we'll learn the functions then properties numerical on acid and saponification value then types of lubrications and finally we'll apply our knowledge how to select lubricant for a particular machine that is called as selection of lubricant now i'd like to start with definition any substance introduced between two moving or sliding surfaces with a view to reduce the frictional resistance between them is known as lubricant so thus a lubricant is a material which is introduced in between two moving surfaces which avoids the direct contact of two metallic surfaces and which will help to prevent the dimensional losses of the metal now after definition we will learn the functions of lubricant the first function is that uh, the lubricant is used with the object to reduce surface deformation by wear and tear just now i said that ki the machine parts surfaces are very close to each other and therefore normally because of friction there is a uh, dimensional changes and one of the important function of the lubricant is to avoid the dimensional changes by wear and tear lubricant also used as a coolant to absorb the frictional heat because two surfaces when they slide over each other or rotate around each other because of friction it evolve the frictional heat and the evolved frictional heat adversely affect on the efficiency of the machine and therefore to maintain the efficiency of the machine it is very important to absorb the frictional heat and thus lubricant is used to absorb the frictional heat is there therefore it is used as a coolant then to maintain efficiency of machine one of the important function of lubricant is that the maintenance of the machine is there if we deserve that the machine should work very efficiently for a longer period of time is there and therefore the machine is needed to lubricate frequently it is also observed that because of uh, expand because of friction the metal undergoes the expansion process and therefore to avoid the expansion of metal by friction the lubricants are also used because lubricant does not allow to have a direct contact of two metallic surfaces and if there is a direct contact of metallic surfaces normally the metal gets expanded because of friction and thus one of the important function is that to avoid the expansion of metal by friction to maintain smooth relative motion of the moving parts to maintain pressure inside the engine it acts as a sealing agent or seal so some machines are there which works on a proper pressure and therefore such machines are needed to seal properly and one of the function of the lubricant is that it is also used as a seal along with the lubrication so it plays the two roles are there it also protect the metal by the action of lubrication and also it seals the open part of that machine so that the re required pressure will be kept inside the machine and the machine will work and this is the example of ic engine so all ic engines are working on the same principle is there now after proper uh, after functions we will learn what are the properties of lubricant the very first property is that the viscosity 
what is its definition it is the property of a liquid lubricant where it shows resistance to its own flow and a good lubricant should possess higher viscosity so what do you mean by viscosity it is a tendency it is a property of a liquid where it shows resistance to its own flow and more resistance will be there depending upon the more thickness more viscosity and a good lubricant is a lubricant which possesses more viscosity is there if you take the low viscosity uh, liquid as a lubricant it will not protect the metal properly then i would like to ask one question uh, on the basis of uh, the property ki which of the following oil possesses high viscosity which of the following oil possesses high viscosity and the options are animal oil vegetable oil both a and b and last option is that none of these think about that the answer and the correct answer is option c that is both a and b that is animal oil and vegetable oil because it is observed that animal oil and vegetable oils are good in viscosity whereas mineral oils are poor in viscosity now the second property is that viscosity index what is viscosity index just now i have said that ki we are using the lubricating oil in machine then machine is operated and because of friction of metallic part there is a evolution of frictional heat and thus we have to consider what kind of impact is there of the evolved heat on the viscosity and that point is called as viscosity index what is viscosity index viscosity index is nothing but it is the rate of change of viscosity with respect to temperature lubricant oil becomes non viscous as the operating temperature increases now what is third property is there that is flash and fire point the flash and fire point knowledge or flash and fire point property of a lubricant does not related with the lubrication but it is related with the selection and it is related with the safety so flash and fire point is mainly related with the safety what is flash point the flash point is the lowest temperature at which the lubricant oil gives enough vapors and when a small flame is brought close to it it catches a fire for a moment with a sound that is called as flash point and what is fire point fire point is the temperature at which the formed vapors of lubricant catches fire continuously generally fire point is more than flash point by 5 to 10 degree centigrade and flash point indicates the warning stage and if you ignore the flash point the next stage is the fire point so flash and fire point study is mainly related with the selection of lubricant for a proper condition and the safety of working now what is fourth property that is cloud and power point so this property is again not related with the lubrication but it is related with again selection of lubricant and this is exactly opposite of the flash and fire point because the flash and fire point is related with increase in temperature but cloud and power point is related with decrease in temperature we know that if certain machines are there because of their use there is a decrease in temperature for example the chilling units are there refrigeration systems are there acs are there where there is a decrease in temperature and second possibility is that in a world some countries are there where the temperature is always no, uh, lower even minus temperature is there but in that cases which property we have to take into consideration that is cloud and power point so what is cloud point when oil is cooled slowly the temperature at which it becomes cloudy in appearance is called as cloud point and what is power point the temperature at which the liquid lubricant ceases its own flow it becomes absolutely solid that point is called as power point so cloud and power point indicates related with the lower temperature now one of the properties that oiliness what is oiliness oiliness and viscosity both are different properties viscosity indicates the thickness of the oil but oiliness indicates the capacity of the liquid to stick on the surface even under operating conditions because we know that the operating conditions may be extreme maybe the speed is more maybe the load is more maybe the temperature is more or even some machines are operated with jerks jerks means suddenly on and off is there so in such cases 
viscous oil does not protect the metal because of viscosity but in that cases we require the liquid lubricant must be enough oily so what is oiliness definition it is the capacity of liquid lubricant to stick on the metallic surfaces even in operating conditions now one of the important properties is that aniline point what is aniline point all liquid lubricants are taken from the natural source and therefore these are containing uh, low level or moderate level or higher levels of saturated hydrocarbons because the source of liquid lubricant is either animal oil or vegetable oil or the mineral oil and all these oils are rich in hydrocarbons only the question is that maybe the percentage is lower maybe the percentage is moderate or maybe the percentage is higher then the present hydrocarbons from the oil dissolves plastic and rubber of a machine part then the third point is that we know that in every machine maybe 5% of that machine fabrication is done by plastic or rubber that means some of the components of that machine are designed with plastic or rubber that means 99% fabrication is with metal but certain components of that machine are designed with the plastic and rubber and the adverse effect of the hydrocarbon is that it dissolve plastic and rubber and we know that every component of a machine is equally important even a small portion of the plastic and rubber get dissolved because of hydrocarbon the machine will not work properly therefore it is one of the important property which gives us the knowledge ki how much level of hydrocarbons are present in a given lubricating oil is there so it is the equilibrium solution temperature of equal volumes of aniline and oil aniline point indicates total amount of saturated hydrocarbons present in a oil so all that material i have referred by using a textbook of engineering chemistry written by jain and jain 